In this illustration, we intend to calculate the deflection using the Abacus software and analytical solution. In this picture, you can observe geometric shape of the model, which includes two AB and BC rods having been connected together. In this problem, first, the deflection of point C is calculated using the analytical solution. Then, the deflection of point C is calculated using the Abacus software. And following that, the results obtained from the Abacus software are compared with those of analytical solution. Actually, this problem has been selected from Mechanics of Materials book. And here you can observe that. The length of AB and BC rods are equal to 200 millimeters and a force equal to 150 Newton is applied downwards to point C. And the purpose is to calculate the vertical deflection of point C. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend to create geometric shape of the model. I will select the modeling space as three dimensional from here, deformable, then wire and planner, enter approximate size equal to 1000 and continue. As it can be observed in the picture, the model includes two A, B and B, C rods, which have been connected together at a 90 degrees angle. Here, I will draw a horizontal line, then a vertical line. And enter the length of each line equal to 200 millimeters. Done. In the next step, I will enter property module, click on create material. Here, the rod is made up still. I click on mechanical menu, then on elasticity and elastic. Young modulus equal to 200 gigapascal. I'll enter that equal to 200,000 megapascal. Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3 and OK. I will click on create section. Here, I'll select beam and then beam and continue. I will click on create beam profile. Here, select circular and continue. Here, the cross section of bar is a circle having a diameter equal to 12 millimeters. Here, I'll enter radius equal to 6 millimeters and OK, OK. Then I will click on assign section, select the whole of the model, done. Then I will click on assign beam orientation, select the model, done. Press the enter button and OK. Here you can observe the model in a three-dimensional form. In the next step, I will enter assembly module. Click on create instance and OK. After that, I will enter step module. Click on create step. Here, select static general and continue since this problem is linear by nature i will select off option i will enter time period equal to one second but time period in this problem will not have any importance on the results and so here any figure inserted would be absolutely right in the next step i'll enter load module Click on Create Boundary Condition, select Initial Step, then select Displacement Rotation and Continue. I will select this point, Done. 
as you observe, point A is absolutely fixed. Here I will close all boundary conditions of displacement and OK. I will click on create load, select step 1. Then select concentrated force and continue. I will select this point, done. As you observe in the picture, a 150 Newton force has been applied to point C. Here, I will enter the amount of force equal to 150 Newton having been applied downwards. In the next step, I will enter mesh module. Click on seed part and enter approximate global size equal to 5 meters. OK. Then click on mesh part and yes. Then I will click on assign element type. Select the whole of the model. Done. Here put the element, uh, put the element family on beam and OK. In the next step, I'll enter job module. Here I will save the model. I'll click on create job. Continue, OK, and then click on Submit. The analysis was done successfully, so I click on Result. Here, you observe the deformation of the model. The purpose of simulating this problem is to calculate the deflection of point C. Here, first, the problem has been solved using the analytical solution. To do so, first we should calculate polar moment of inertia and moment of inertia. And here, these two parameters have been calculated accordingly. In the next step, the strain energy of the whole model should be calculated. To calculate this, we'll only need to add the strain energy of rod AB with strain energy of rod BC together. Here, first, we'll calculate the strain energy of rod AB. To do so, we should calculate the strain energy due to bending and strain energy due to torsion for rod AB. Here, we have first calculated the strain energy due to bending for rod AB. And you can observe that here. We actually used this, uh, we actually used this formula in order to calculate the strain energy due to bending and the formula has been extracted from mechanics of materials book
Here you can observe this formula that has been used for calculating the strain energy due to bending. Here E represents the same Young modulus. I is moment of inertia and M stands for moment. Here, the strain energy due to bending is equal to 147.49. In the next step, we should calculate the strain energy due to torsion. Here, you can observe its formula which has been extracted from Mechanics of, Me Mechanics of Materials book. And you can observe that here. L is the length of rod, G is the shear modulus, and J is polar moment of inertia. T stands for torque. Here, the strain energy due to torsion for rod AB is equal to 572.66. In the next step, uh, we should calculate the strain energy of rod BC, and here you can observe the process of solving the problem. In the last stage, in order to calculate total strain energy, we should add the strain energy of AB and BC rods together. The process of solving that is observed here, and the total strain energy is equal to 867.64. Finally, using this formula, we can calculate uh, uh, the deflection of point C. And uh, this formula has actually been extracted from Mechanics of Materials book as well. Uh, which can be observed here. U stands for strain energy and P is force. Eventually, the deflection of point C is equal to 11.57 millimeters. Now we intend to be calcul to calculate the deflection of point C using the Abacus software and then compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with results of the analytical solution. I click on Create XY Data, select ODB Field Output and Continue. Here I'll select Unique Nodal, then U3, then here select this point and click on Save As. Here you can observe the vertical displacement of point C having been obtained from the Abacus software. The deflection of point C obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 11.6 mm. As you observe, the results having been obtained from the Abacus software, are so close to those of the analytical solution. Actually, the deflection gained from the analytical solution is equal to 11.57 mm, and deflection obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 11.6 mm. As you observe, these two results are so close to each other.